Jane, are you ready for your 23 questions with the ghost Yes, I am. What's it like being the vice president for the class of 2022? Um, it's really fun. I have a great group of girls around me to help me, and it's really fun organizing fundraisers and activities for our class. And it's kind of a lot of responsibility, but in a good way. What is your biggest fear? Um, probably drowning. That would be really scary. What is the, your proudest accomplishment as vice president this year? Um, we raised a lot of money at the Holiday Bazaar. It was really good. We got some nice stickers of Bill Olson's face, and they were a big hit, and everyone loved them. What is your favorite subject in school? English. I love writing. Who is your hero? Um, probably my dad. He's a big inspiration in my life, and he helps me through a lot of stuff, and he's just such a great role model to me. When you were younger, what was your dream job? Um, when I was younger, I wanted to be a lawyer so bad. I loved arguing and, like, showing people up. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mm, probably sushi. I love me some good sushi. Would you rather WA had a uniform or not? Um, I think there's definitely pros and cons to that, but I would definitely not have a uniform because I like people to like have the ability to express their like feelings slash their interests throughout their outfits. What has been the best year of school for you? Um, probably eighth grade. That was a fun year. We didn't really do much, but it was like the pressure of middle school was off of you and you're thinking about high school and your future and it was just a really great year. What is your favorite song and why? Um, sisters by St. Motel. It's just like a really fun, upbeat song and it talks about sisters and I have two and I love them dearly. Do you prefer middle school or high school? High school, definitely. You have a lot more freedom and the teachers are so much more like in touch with their students and it's a lot of fun. How did you get that? Um, I had surgery on my knee because I've had two previous dislocations and they needed a preventative surgery so I wouldn't have any more. Why did you run for vice president? Um, I ran because I thought I could make a change in our grade and for the better. And I wanted to be in a position where I could voice this, not only my opinions but the class's opinions for the better. What advice do you have for the freshman class? Um, I think freshmen could definitely uh, benefit from just relaxing a bit because I know going into freshman year it's a lot of stress thinking about your teachers and all your work and how to get everything done and everything under control. If you just step back and relax everything will turn out a-okay like nothing's gonna matter in the long run. What color is your toothbrush? Um, my toothbrush is purple. What, what would you do for WA with a million dollars? The million dollars, I would definitely vamp up like the look of the school and I would probably add like an addition to the back for like relaxation and fun. What is your biggest pet peeve? Um, when people chew with their mouths open. Who is your biggest role model at Westford Academy? Um, probably Mrs. Juzoko. She helped me through um, freshman year health and she was probably my favorite teacher ever and she was super nice and supportive and I loved having her around. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, I see myself as an activist and like living, hopefully living in Hawaii and just like living my life. <laughs> what are your three favorite characteristics about yourself? Um, I'm a very hard worker. Um, I try to stay positive and I'm very trustworthy. What is the best gift you've been given? Um, that's a hard one. Probably the gift of life because if I wasn't born then I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be able to do this interview or talk to you or be in WA. What has been the most impactful thing you've learned at Westford Academy? Um, to manage your time because I learned through many experiences that were not the best that I, if I stayed up too late or if I pushed it off or didn't chunk my work at all or had no time management skills, it would come back to bite me in the butt and that's not what you want. And finally, what are your goals for 2020? In 2020, I'd like to, again, work on my time management skills and just to be more positive for people, for people around me and for myself. Thank you, Jane. Thank you.